How are we doing? Oh yeah, it's been a while since I've done a video, let me tell you. It's been roughly about six months. Right, beer review, beer mail. Nipped into bed for the last week. <coughs> um, picked up a few brews. We've got from a uh, good man himself, Richard Bru uh, Williams, Dude's Brews. So we got four beers. I've got these four beers. That's a bit of favour for him. I'll count some grains and that. <clears throat> and just in case just meeting up and picking them up or whatever. So we've got a Roadrunner APA, 5.8% at 46 IBUs. It's got Golden Promise, uh, Hops of Columbus, Cascade and Mosaic and Citra. And the yeast is Y Yeast 1272. And then we also got a Rosie and Sim IPA, 6.1% 46 IBUs. Marisata, Vienna, Wheat and Crystal, Malts, Simcoe and Rosemary. Yeast is USO5. That would be interesting. Then we've got a Columbus Red. Sorry, did I not show you that one, did I? Then we've got a Columbus Red, which is Red X Malt. I'm, I'm not so sure about this Red X Malt. Some people like it, some don't. And that was Columbus. And yeast was Imperial Barbarian. And the one I really want to try is a Shipyard Rye Pale. <clears throat> Just 5.1%, 41 IBUs. Malt is Pale Ale, Crystal Rye, Chocolate Malt, Columbus Cascade, Amarillo, and Citra. Yeast is Ringwood. So, this is the one I want to try out of all of them. Because I'm expecting this to have kind of like a, sort of a spicy little note to it with the... Um, Crystal and rye, and then obviously you got your Columbus, but then when you've got your like your uh, Amarillo and your um, Citra, there can be a little bit of a fruity tone kind of thing going on there. So you've got Columbus, Cascade, Amarillo, and Citra. So I've, these have been literally left outside on my box outside so the ambient temperatures and it's around about seven or eight degrees all day i'm using a local glass black and sun which is a local brewery get yourself up there if you have your milton keynes top top bloke top brewery <laughs> shall we crack it open oh, I'd let it Nice little hiss. Ooh. I'm cutting it again, I forgot. Amarillo, definitely getting the Amarillo on the nose. Should we pour? Right, right over there. So what we got? Colour-wise, it's kind of like a dark mahogany, slight like red tone to it. My head's dispersing pretty really damn quick. In fact, it's pretty much going. Yachts in it again. Cascade, Amarillo, <coughs> Columbus. Right, getting the spiciness from the Columbus straight away. Kind of like a peppery, licorice -y thing going on there. <coughs> and then in the background, you've got like a floral, I have to tones. Should we go for it? Hmm. Yeah, man. Straight away, the amarillo sticks out. And you've got like a sherbet-y kind of thing going on in the background. That'll be the... Uh, that'll be the cascade coming through, I would have thought. 
So the amarillo and the cascade are coming through really well and quite nice. And you've got like a spicy aftertone, which will be from the rye malt and the, um, excuse me, Ramblin' Cross. Columbus, sorry. I think I have Ramblin' Cross from. That's one of the other ones, isn't it? So we've got a bird coming on. Um, yeah, I'll get it out in a minute. So, yeah, so there's like a sherbet thing going on there. <coughs> there it goes. Nice aftertaste, though. Um, quite a nice pint, actually. There is a bit of a head there. I mean, I think I have to give it a swirl. It'll come back quite easily. There we are, look. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, nice, reasonably well carbonated. Got quite a good aroma to it. The hops all seem to uh, balance out quite well. Right, a little a few minutes with it. It's a decent pint. Right, probably could have done with a little bit more rye malt in my opinion. But that's just my opinion because I like it. All right, rye malt, I think it's a nice brew. Nice malt to work with. It can be an arse for stuck sparges and shit like that. Um, so you don't want a lot of it in your brew, because otherwise you spend there hours digging a bugger out. It's a pain in the arse. When I've used rye malt, I tend to put it in a separate... Um, <laughs> to it separate, and then add it after I've... with the rest at the end, if you know what I'm saying. Um, <clears throat> the citrus kind of comes through a little bit. Um, not too much, but it's just about right. You've got a lot of uh, C's going in there. Citra, Columbus and Cascade. C-C-C-A for Amarillo. Sorry, just interrupted by the wife. She just told me some news about the uh, girl missing in Milton Keynes. They've had a fair of tragedy in their family, but that's not what we're here for. Fortunately, things happen. <clears throat> right. I can see what this is going. It's all going for like high flavour intensity. I can't even say intensity. And then you've got Columbus, Cascade. They're all quite high up as far as um, flavours and aromas and that go. And they're all pretty decent hops. They all go quite well with this. Quite a smooth drink. Um, I'd be quite happy to drink this. I'd, I'd go out and pay for this. It's done good, Richard. It's very easy to drink at 5.1% as well. It's not, you know. Sending out warning terms of like I'm alcohol, like high alcohol volume. It's uh, pretty good. It's got a good malt backbone to it. There's not a lot of chocolate malt going on there, but there's a little bit. Um, but I think it's quite well balanced, and I'm enjoying it. So, big thumbs up. And uh, anyone gets one of these. It's probably, oh, it looks like it's in backwards on the, my camera, so it probably looks like it's in Russian handwriting. But yeah, a decent brew, a very decent brew, and much appreciated. <coughs> and it's made me, give me your cups, because I think it's a bit, I mean, it's just, I just had my tea. So, thank you very much.